Mda wa dakika 30 mpenzi mtazamaji utakao naungana nami langu jina ni Emilia Kisenya na kukupa taarifa hizi kwa lugha ishara kiwa ni Joyce Wairimu. Lakini kunipa jicho vile vile na sikio lako. Haya tuondoke na hili kwani huenda vita dhidi ya virusi vya corona vikalimazwa ni baada ya madaktari katika kaunti ya Nairobi kutishia kugoma baada ya makata ya siku saba kutolewa iwapo serikali haitashughulikia matakwa hayo. Hata hivyo Wizara ya Afya kwa upande wake imetupilia mbali madai hayo au hata malalamishi hayo na kushikilia kuwa mengi ya matakwa ya madaktari hayo tayari yameweza kutimizwa kama anavoeleza mwanahabari Mwenza Busara na Aman. Kufuatia ongezeko la visa vya corona hasa miongoni mwa hudumu wa afya hali ya wasiwasi imewagubika wa hudumu hao na kupelekea wengi wao kutoka kaunti mbalimbali kutishia kugoma ili kushinikiza serikali kutimiza matakwa yao During this covid pandemic we need to be treated as human beings We are not children of a lesser god we are not martyrs na siku chache baada ya uguzi wa afya katika kaunti kadhaa kuanza kugoma, madaktari nao takriban tatu katika kaunti ya Nairobi wamefuata mkondo. From 1st of July we have not had a medical cover. Number two, we don't have an isolation facility for where us as doctors would be isolated within the county. We have not been paid our July, July salary. Our June salary was paid on July 20th. Mkuu wa muungano wa KMPDU kaunti ya Nairobi Thuranira Kagwiria anasema kuwa hawana vifaa bora na vya kutosha ili kujikinga dhidi ya corona. We have been getting very poor PPEs. Part of it is the reason why we have more than 10 doctors who have contracted COVID. We have some of us who have been admitted in Mpisha, some in Kenyatta National Hospital. Not forgetting that at the end of it all we have to pay our bills whether we go to a private facility. Wizara ya Afya nayo inashikilia kuwa imetekeleza matakwa yao ikiwataka wale wanaohisi kukwazwa kujitokeza. Ndio kumekuwa na shida kuweza kubadilisha ile payroll kutoka uh, kaunti ya Nairobi hadi kwa Nairobi Metropolitan Services lakini haya mambo yote yametatuliwa. Ya kwanza pipi hizi ziko hata hivyo Waswahili husema fahali wawili wakipigana nyasi ndizo humia. Wa Kenya hususan wakazi wa Nairobi watathirika pakubwa iwapo mgomo huu utangoa nanga. Mambo ya NHIF, bima ya NHIF uh, hapo tunaenda kutatulia hiyo jambo budget iko pesa zimo na hawa wafanyikazi wataweza kuandikishwa katika bima ya NHIF. Muda umeanza kuyoyoma huku wa hudumu wa afya hapa jijini Nairobi wakitishia kulemaza huduma kwa wakazi swala ambalo linatishia vita dhidi ya COVID-19. Nikiripotia mwanga wa Ebru jina langu ni Busara na Aman. Mbali na hayo tusonge katika Wizara ya Afya ambao kwa upande wake imeonyesha wasiwasi wa usambazaji wa habari zisizo za kweli kuhusiana na virusi vya corona huku katibu msimamizi katika wizara hiyo Masi Mwangangi kwa upande wake akisema ina athiri pakubwa basi vita dhidi ya umaikali ya virusi vya corona. Anajiri basi huku idadi ya virusi hivyo ikifikia elfu ishirini na tisa mia tatu thelathini na nne. Tangia ya kisa cha kwanza cha COVID-19 kutangazwa nchini wa Kenya wamepata habari kuhusu virusi hivi kila kukicha. Hata hivyo baadhi ya habari zinazosambaa si za kweli. We continue to see information in different platforms and some of this information digresses from ways in which we can manage COVID-19. Information containing certain concoctions that you can take that will be able to cure you and it becomes important to ensure that everybody adheres to the containment measures and that we are all aware that passing false information can actually hamper the efforts against this disease. Usemi huu wa katibu msaidizi katika Wizara ya Afya Daktari Masi Mwangangi unajiri baada ya shirika la afya duniani kuonya dhidi ya usambazaji wa taarifa zisizo za ukweli. Haya yanajiri huku visa vya maambukizi vya COVID-19 vikifikia watu 1029334. 530 are Kenyans whereas 50 are foreigners. 336 of them are male while 244 of them are female. The youngest is a one year old baby and the oldest is 92. Watu 198 hata hivyo wameripotiwa kupona huku wengi wao wakiwa wale wa mpango wa matibabu ya nyumbani. From this number 119 are from the home based care program where 79 have been discharged from various hospitals. 
And this therefore brings a total number of recoveries in the country to 15,298. Wengine ya watano wamefariki na kufikisha idadi ya waliofariki nchini ikufikia 465. Wini Lubembe, Mwanga wa Ebru, Nairobi. Ampenzi mtazamaji tutembeze guha hadi katika sekta ya elimu. Waziri George Magoha amewasuta vikali walimu wasiotaka kujihusisha katika mfumo wa masomo wa kinyumbani aina ya mfumo wa nyumba kumi. Hii ni baada basi baadhi ya walimu kuitaka wizara ya elimu kuwapa vifaa maalum vya kudhibiti dhidi ya virusi vya corona ili kuweza kufanikisha masomo hayo. Mafunzo ya nyumba ni ene ya mfumo wa nyumba kumi yaliozinduliwa wiki mbili zilizopita yalilenga kutatu utata wa masomo mitandaoni yasiyofikiwa na baadhi ya wanafunzi. Hata hivyo mfumo huu umekumbatiwa na chachu kutoka kwa baadhi ya walimu chachu ile mlazimu waziri magoa kujitokeza na kuwasuta kwa uchungu. Turning around and twisting the concept of community teaching is most regrettable. Community teaching was meant to teach those children in the locality where they live with a teacher who lives among them. And I'm now hearing a lot of a lot of hot air. Magoa aliyazungumza haya alipozuru eneo la Eldoret akikagua baadhi ya taasisi za kiufundi zilizojitayarisha katika vita dhidi ya corona na kauli yake ikiwa wajifunza kukumbatia nyakati hizi ngumu za janga la corona. If you live in a in a, a group of buildings which is gated that has about 30 children and there's one teacher there. Why are you saying you need PPEs? If you don't want to teach the children then don't. Don't bother. The children belong to you. Na kuhusiana na swala la fedha za nemis na malipo kwa walimu katika shule za umma walioajiriwa na bodi magoa alikuwa na haya ya kusema. Our job with Dr. Billy Kipsang here is to ensure that that money is not stolen. So if we step back to confirm and reaffirm the numbers and you don't like it, then you can do whatever you want because we shall only pay the teachers that we know are available to be paid and they shall be paid because the money is available. Hadi kufikia sasa kaunti ya Nakuru imeanza rasmi kusajili walimu wanaotaka kujihusisha katika mfumo wa masomo nyumbani kuwasaidia baadhi ya wanafunzi wasioweza kupata masomo haya mitandaoni. Mbali na hayo ni wazi sasa kuwa serikali ya Kera Isuhuru Kinyata inafanya kila jitihada za kuona kwamba asasi zote zina afiki uwepo wa mamlaka ya hudma za Nairobi chini ya meja General Mohamed Badi. Basi ni siku mbili baada ya Rake Rais Uhuru Kinyata kumsuta Gavana Mike Sonko na hata kumtaka kumtambua Badi. Hii leo ilikuwa ni awamu ya maafisa wa usalama kusalimishwa amri kwa Badi. Jumahili limeshuhudia matukio muhimu katika uendeshaji wa jiji la Nairobi. I want to humbly tender my resignation to His Excellency the President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Yalianza na kujiuzulu kwa speaker Beatrice Elachi na baadaye Sonko wacha siasa. Kusutwa kwa gavana wa Nairobi Mike Sonko. Yeye ni mfanyikazi wangu, ni jemedari wangu, akimaliza kazi ya Nairobi atarudi jeshi kulinda wananchi wa taifa la Kenya ambaye alitakiwa kutambua uwepo wa mkurugenzi wa mamlaka ya huduma za Nairobi NMS General Mohamed Badi. Na yale mambo yote mabaya nimeongea kwa ndugu yangu Badi, nimemwambia pole. Sasa kwende mbele tunafanya kazi. Na haya kuishia hapo. As you may be aware, there has been a, a change of guard. Hii leo, maafisa wa usalama kutoka kaunti ya Nairobi walifika katika uga wa Kasarani kisa na maana so that uh, they are given matching orders as we start the new financial year and uh, derive a framework and mechanisms of how to work together with the Nairobi Metropolitan Services to ensure that we build the necessary administrative synergies to deliver for the people of Nairobi. Kwa mujibu wa waziri wa masuala ya ndani Dr. Fred Matiangi, asasi hizo za usalama pia zinaraiwa kumtambua mamlaka ya Generali Badi. A lot of work is going on around Nairobi and we came to discuss this unless we build that you know solid institutional collaboration we will not succeed. 
Badi naye alikuwa katika kikao hicho alikokariri kuwa azma ya NMS ni kubadili maisha ya wakaazi wa Nairobi. We will improve the environment, uh, working places, our infrastructure so Nairobi becomes one of the best counties. Tamuchungu ambayo ni uhusiano baina ya Sonko na Badi unazidi kutia dege katika uhusiano baina ya rais na mwendani wake wa hapo awali Sonko ambaye sasa anaonekana kuvuliwa joho la mamlaka na ushawishi. Basi kutokana na mwendo kasi huo itabidi tuchukue kopo la maji tukirejea taarifa zetu kwa zaidi la kujicho usi banduke. Naam karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji kwa taarifa zetu zaidi. Kwa sasa acha tueleke tena katika jiji la Nairobi. Aliyekuwa mbunge wa Makadara Ben Mutura sasa ndiye speaker wa bunge la county ya Nairobi baada ya kuchaguliwa na hata wawakilishi wa wadi kwenye kikao maalum kilichoendeshwa alasiri ya leo. Mutura aliyepoteza nafasi ya ubunge kwa George Aladwa mwaka wa 2017 basi amejaza pengo loachwa na Beatrice Elachi aliyejiuzulu kutokana na sarakasi za bunge hilo. Hi Benson Mutura Kangara having been elected the speaker of the county assembly of Nairobi city do swear wenye kikao kilichoendeshwa kupitia njia ya kielektroniki wakilishi wadi walikuwa na ajenda moja pekee Jukumu la kumtafuta mridhi wa Bitu Selachi aliyejiuzulu siku ya Jumatatu kama speaker. I hereby declare Mr. Benson Mutora Kangara as the valid elected speaker of the Nairobi City County Assembly. Kikao hicho kilihudhuriwa na uongozi wa vyama wasiozidi kumi huku wengine wakifuatilia na kupiga kura kupitia njia mtandao ambapo Mutura aliibuka mshindi na kura 99 Mutura aliapishwa hapo hapo na kuanza kutekeleza wajibu wake katika hotuba yake Mutura ameapa kupambana na sarakazi za City Hall kwa hali na male huko akimshukuru Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kwa kumtambua kama kiongozi vile vile pia achukua fursa hii kumshukuru gavana wa Nairobi Mike Mubi Sanko wewe ndio gavana wetu na tunajaribu kama kama bunge hili tufanye kazi pamoja Nairobi Metropolitan Services ni shirika lazima tulishike mkono kwa hivi sasa ni kama ule mtoto mdogo anachitumaa Mutura aliwabwaga pinzani sita akiwemo Alan Chacha ambaye anaweza kuwa uchaguzi huko haki na usawa If you tell Chacha that we are advertising the position today we are shortlisting to tomorrow we are voting the other day then basically you've locked out chacha because how do you expect chacha to go and lobby from the mcs who are supposed to vote you baadhi ya wakenya wamefurahishwa na mabadiliko kwenye bunge la city hall sasa hivi ni jukumu la former makadara mp kuleta sanity in the house na mimi nataka kuambia speaker ule mc yote ataleta vurugu county assembly of nairobi mtume kwa miaka mbili nje ya county assembly of nairobi mutura aliyetoka kwa nyumba akiwa mikono tupu sasa anakabidhiwa mamlaka ikiwemo ulinzi mkali na gari jipya lenye bendera ikiwa imesalia miaka miwili kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 2022 Ben Mutura sasa na wajibu mkubwa wa kuweza kuunganisha wakilishi wadi katika bunge la kaunti la Nairobi ambalo limeweza kushuhudia vurugu tangia mwaka 2017 nikiripotia mwanga wa Ebro jina langu ni Jeff Haemba na kwa sasa kiongozi wa chama cha Amani National Congress Musalia Mudavadi amewataka wanachama wa chama hicho kutokuwa na wasiwasi kutokana na msukosuko unaoikumba chama hicho. Haya yanajiri baada ya aliyekuwa mgombea wa kiti cha ubunge cha Kibra kupitia chama hicho na aliyekuwa anatarajiwa pia vile vile kuchukua nafasi ya katibu mkuu wa chama hicho Eludowalo kujiuzulu mapema hii leo basi kujiuzulu kwake mpenzi mtazamaji kuna jiri siku chache baada ya Barak Muluka naye kwa upande wake kujiuzulu kama katibu mkuu wa chama hicho The party leader has not been a position as of now to propose the two names I am sure you all know that only two, three days ago, our Secretary General uh, formally um, tendered his resignation from the party to the election board. 
has now just been inaugurated, so they also need time to organize themselves to ensure election of that the Secretary, Deputy, the Secretary General. I will take some time, consult, and then when it is appropriate, I will give indication that now we have the two names to be brought to the Amani National Council for consideration, and then now we can formally elect our new Secretary General. So whoever will be there will be holding temporarily, pending the process to be concluded successfully. Na kwa sasa kizaza kimeshuhudiwa katika bunge la kaunti ya Bomet wakati wa uchaguzi wa spika mpya wa bunge la kaunti hiyo vurugu lilianza pale wakili Nelson Mutaya alipotangazwa kama spika wa bunge hilo Mutaya alishinda na kura 27 maafisa na wa polisi wakimiminika katika bunge hilo la kaunti ya Bomet kudumisha usalama Hukukura zikihesabiwa katika hafla ya kuchagua spika wa bunge la kaunti ya Bomet. Kizaza kilishuhudiwa baada ya mwakilishi wadi Robert Serbai kujaribu kusitisha uchaguzi huo. Mwakilishi huyo alizuiliwa na maaskari wa bunge na kufurushwa nje. Na baadaye maafisa wa polisi wakamiminika katika bunge la kaunti ya Bomet ili kudumisha usalama. <laughs> Hayo yote ya kisheheni wakili Nelson Mutai aliibuka mshindi na kuchaguliwa kama spika wa bunge la kaunti hiyo. Abdezizashim Mwanga wa Ebru. Kumpafu. Ya biashara ni muhimu sana wacha tuyaangazie mahangaiko ya wakenya wakati huu wa janga la virusi vya corona yanatarajiwa kukolezwa hata zaidi baada ya mamlaka ya udhibiti wakawi na mafuta nchini kutangaza ongezeko la bei ya mafuta kwa kipindi cha mwezi mmoja sasa kuanzia kesho bei za petroli itapanda kwa shilingi 14 na senti 18 na, na hata vile vile dizeli kwa upande wake ikiongezeka hadi shilingi mbili na senti 76 Bei ya mafuta ya petroli imepanda kwa mujibu wa tathmini mpya ya tume ya kawi na petroli kwani lita moja ya petroli sasa itauzwa kwa shilingi moja na tatu na senti tisini na tano baada ya kuongezeka kwa shilingi tatu na senti ya arobaini na saba. Lita moja ya dizeli imepanda bei kwa shilingi mbili na senti sabini na sita ilhali bei ya mafuta taa ndio iliongezeka kwa kiasi cha juu baada ya kuzidishwa kwa shilingi kumi na nane na senti ishirini. Lita moja ya dizeli jijini Nairobi sasa itauzwa kwa shilingi tisini na nne na senti sitini na tatu ilhali lita ya mafuta taa sasa itauzwa kwa shilingi themanini na tatu na senti sitini na tano. Mamlaka ya Epra imesema ongezeko hilo la bei limetokana na kupanda kwa gharama ya mafuta iliyosafishwa na kuagizwa kutoka nje. Tayari wakazi wa Mombasa wamelalamikia ukosefu wa mafuta ya kaunti hiyo. Tuseka na mafuta ya taa. Tukisikia hiko tukikuja na vichupa vyetu hakuna mafuta ya taa. Hatujui hatujambo tujalini hatujambo tutakujalini. Itabidi tukatafute makaa makuni tukapikie. Maneno hatuna la kufanya sasa hivi. Uhuru aone penye tuko. Tuateseka sisi wa Kenya wake tuateseka. Hatuna eni. Kwa mujibu wa EPRA, ongezeko hilo limesababishwa na bei ya juu na gharama ya uwasilishaji mafuta na bidhaa za petroli. Anajiri wakati shirika la nchi zinazouza mafuta pia zimesajili ongezeko la bei za petroli, dizeli na mafuta taa. Kufikia hapo ni michezoni itakuwa inakufuatia mpenzi mtazamaji kwa hivyo usibanduke. Shabash, barabara kabisa mtazamaji karibu tuingie sote mwana sporti vi uwanjani na ito Davis Mberia. Bingo wa dunia katika mi, uh, mbio za mita alf moja miatano Timothy Cheriot, mita alf tano Eleno Biri na mita alf tatu kuruka maji na viunzi Beatrice Chepkoich wanajianda kusaka ushindi katika kivumbi cha mbio za almasi mkondo wa Monaco usiku wa leo. Cheriot atafanya kwa osha mandugu wa tatu wa Ange Briston kutoka Norway ambao walimshinda katika mbio za Maori Plant mnamo Juni 11. Obiri na yata minyana na mkenya mwenza Beatrice Chepkoich.
Mungu wa dunia mita alf kumi sifana hasan wa uolanzi. Wengine mbao watashuka zuliani usiku wa leo ni pamoja na Faith Chemungetich, Ferguson Rotich, Leonard Bett na Chipukizi, Jacob Kiprop. Mbio hizi za monako ni za ufunguzi katika kalenda ya mwaka huu ya mbio za almasi. Bila shaka mtazamaji mikiki ya tenisi inatumalizia bila shaka habari zetu ama jamvi inatufungia jamvi la sport nimekuwa Davis Mberia lakini kama sijaondoka sijaemilia kesho umetupangia nini <laughs> ah, kesho mwaitwa hamshikiki uh -huh. tunauliza wewe pale uh -huh. mnachana na mpenzi wako uh -huh. child support utapeana au upeane lazima nipeane maana yake ile ni damu yangu ah. tunachia kufunga <laughs> Kesho kuanzia mida sa kumina mpili hadi sa moja kamili, ameasema yeye, mm -hmm. letu jicho. Mm -hmm. Ungana nasi na usikose kwenye gumza wikendi kwa sasa tunafanikisho, tunasema shukran zetu za dhati, mm -hmm. wa wale wote, wale otazama. Na yule opale pembeni, anasema tafadhalini mumpe tabasamu la usiku, anafamika kama Joyce Wairimu, kwangu mimi langu jina ni mili ya kisenya, kwa tunapatia usiku gani? Usiku mwanana na tuwekepema moyoni. Habari ndo hiyo. <laughs>